All right, guys, we've done it. We've made it to the end of the week. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Episode number 180 out of 180. <laughs> so thank you so much, you guys, for allowing me to do this. Uh, it is Fishery, and you're listening to Alex Williamson, of course. So today we're going to be talking about a new research paper that, ooh, I'm so excited because it talks about fish and their ability to recognize themselves. Now, what's interesting about this is that some monkeys, some, uh, you know, there are some very complex animals that cannot figure out that it's their own reflection in the mirror. They go a step further than, than that in this study, but let me read you some of the excerpts of the actual study. So, a research team led by specially appointed professor Masanori Kahoda from the Graduate School of Science uh, in Oaxaca, uh, or Osaka, sorry, <laughs> Osaka's uh, Metropolitan University, has demonstrated that fish think, it's me, when they see themselves in a picture. Not only do they think this when looking in a mirror. So the researchers found that the determining factor was not seeing their own body, but seeing their own face, their own eyes, and maybe in the eyes. These findings have been published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. And uh, it's, it's an interesting study because uh, there is a fish and its Latin name is the Labradorus uh, dimiduatus, and it's commonly known as a cleaning fish. And they're really smart fish, we knew that, a saltwater fish, which are known to be able to recognize themselves in mirrors. We already figured that out too. But they regularly attack unfamiliar cleaning fish who intrude on their territory or try to skip in line of who gets to clean the, the whale shark or who gets to clean uh, the manta ray or whatever it is they're cleaning in their little region. And they were presented four photographs, a photo of themselves, a photo of an unfamiliar fish, a photo of their own face on an unfamiliar fish's body, and a photo of an unfamiliar cleaner fish's face on their body. Interestingly, the cleaner fish did not attack the photos with their own faces, but they did attack the ones with their own bodies. So it is clearly the face, maybe the eyes, maybe maybe just the shape and the ratio of the face that is variable enough that they know that's them. What's really remarkable about this is they're doing it from memory and they're flipping it around from the mirror image because uh, they're able to do that after seeing themselves in the mirror. Now, they're also curious, are these fish able to just know inherently, that's me? Like, how could they know that from a photo? And it may be that they're using the reflection and optical tricks that occur when you are in the water where the surface reflects down and you can sometimes see a mirror image on calm water or when salinity is differential and you can get mirages, it may be things like this where they're seeing themselves. Or in fact, it may be in the eyes and the reflective uh, eye of like a shark that they're seeing in that black, they're seeing themselves and learning what they look like. And even though that would be warped in either case, they're knowing it and holding it to be true that they can pick themselves out of a photo lineup and uh, and still know themselves apart. Now, to negate the possibility that the fish considered the photographs of themselves as very close companions, uh, a photograph mark test was conducted where fish were presented with a photograph where they were given Photoshop little parasites on their throat. Six of the eight fish in the study saw the photograph of themselves with parasites and were then observed rubbing their throats against uh, different materials in their uh, aquarium trying to get it off. While showing those same fish pictures of themselves without parasite marks or familiar cleaner fish with parasite marks did not cause them to rub on anything. So they definitely know it's themselves in the photos and they definitely get that it's flipped around. That is wild. That means they are very smart. That They are also smart enough to remember 
sharks and rays and uh, whales and different things, they're able to remember uh, this group of fish, and specifically this species, but they're able to remember six months to a year ago when they last cleaned a, a shark or a fish that came through, and they will clean the fish that they last cleaned last. So if it had been cleaned recently, they'll clean another fish that they cleaned, say, nine months earlier instead of the one they cleaned three months ago, and they'll remember it in order for dozens of fish. So these are definitely very intelligent fish in that they're servicing the uh, the other fish that they eat par parasites off of, sharks and so forth, and that provides them food, but it also, you know, then they get protection from those fish being in the area. Uh, so it's pretty cool what they do, and we knew that they were smart, but this is a whole new level of sense of self, and according to the study, it's the first time that they've demonstrated that fish have an internal sense of self and a memory of it, and that they can apply actions to maladies or to things that are wrong and so it's really questioning do fish have a sense of self do fish understand where they are who they are who the fish around them are i mean in a lot more complex sense than we ever gave them credit for and also why are they able to pick these things out so well from photos and from mirror image uh uh imagery in their head in their memory how are they able to flip it around and still know that the mere image of them versus a photographed image that's the other way, uh, how are they able to process all that? It's wild. It's like having to know two fish that are you and know that then if the parasite in the photo and you're used to seeing a reflection of yourself as yourself, just like humans, a lot of times you'd reach for the wrong side inherently in a mirror. Well, in a photo, if it's on the proper side, that would make sense that they'd go scratch it. But in the mirror, when they they gave them, uh, you know, mirrored images of themselves, uh, they could go and, and clean off the Photoshop par uh, parasites that, that were in the picture. Now, the parasites weren't on the fish. They wouldn't, you know, they're not harming them. But it's pretty crazy that they're able to do that. So what do you guys think? I mean, these are some saltwater fish. And we haven't even tried any of this stuff with other fish like cichlids that have really complex social dynamics that we've seen other things with. But I would be very surprised if someone, some grad student, some professor, some team doesn't do this next with uh, fellow uh, freshwater fish, cichlids, bettas, uh, labyrinth fish, things like that. Uh, because they've also done work with them recognizing themselves in mirrors. And uh, a lot of times they can't do it. So it's interesting if maybe the mirror is the problem because they don't live in environments where they get to swim alongside a big shark with an eye that lets them see themselves so maybe that's it or maybe it's being in the ocean and the salinity the optic tricks we just don't know uh or maybe they're just the only smart fish like that uh but i'd love to find out more i'd love to know what you guys think and, you know, I'm probably going to actually put this as episode number 177 because I like this topic more than all the other ones this week. So, thanks for watching, guys. You can become a member, get my sources, my behind-the-scenes stuff, and any interesting links and photos to this audio-based fishery uh, series in the community tab. It's only a buck ninety-nine to be a member to support the channel. That's as low as I could set the price and... Uh, you know, it really does help out, lets me do the fan, the channel full time, and it helps me with my face therapy because I apparently can't talk. All right, guys, have an awesome week, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.